Good morning kids, how are you today? Today we are going to read about a very interesting book about four friends finding a very nice cozy place to play in during a rainy day. So let's get started with The Very Cranky Bear by Nick Blannon. In the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, Four little friends found a perfect place to play. Moose had marvelous antlers and lion a golden mane. Zebra had fantastic stripes and sheep, well, sheep was plain. None of them had noticed that someone else was there. Sleeping in that cave was a very cranky bear. When the cranky bear, he gnashed his teeth and stomped his feet and chased them out the door. So, in the jingle jangle jungle on a cold and rainy day, four little friends had nowhere warm to play. Wait a minute, said Zebra as she scratched her furry chin. It may be if we cheered him up, he'd let us back in. If I did not have my stripes, said Zebra, I'd be cranky too. We should give that bear some stripes. That's what we should do. Stripes are a bore, said Moose. Especially on a bear. We should. My antlers always cheer me up. We should give them, give that bear a pair. No, 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 said Lion. Antlers are a bore. A golden mane like mine would cheer him up for sure. So Zebra fetched a can of mud and lion some grass of gold. Moose got two big branches and sheep, well, sheep got cold. Sheep was getting worried. They've been eaten up for sure. And then from inside that cave came a very cranky roar. Zebra, lion and moose ran out and bear was right behind them. They hid behind the bushes where they hoped he wouldn't find them. Why is he still cranky? He has got an he has got antlers, stripe, and a mane. Before we gave him those, he looked so very plain. As Bear stomped back inside the cave, he turned and roared at Sheep. All I really want is a place to sleep. So she fetched a pair of clippers and sheared off half her wool. She stuffed it in a cotton bag until the bag was full. So she tiptoed back inside the cave. Excuse me, bear, she said. Would you like a pillow for underneath your head? Well, thank you very much, said bear. And soon he fell asleep. Maybe he was dreaming of a plain but thoughtful sheep. The end. Thank you very much, kids. I hope you enjoyed it.